In a world teeming with undiscovered mysteries and untapped potentials, lies a secret power within each individual, a gift bestowed by the divine. Far from the grasp of our daily consciousness, this power remains dormant, awaiting recognition and activation. Individuals across epochs have sought to understand this elusive force, believing in its capacity to transform lives and reshape destinies. A journey into the heart of our being reveals this secret, a divine power entrusted by God yet often overlooked in the hustle of everyday existence. An awakening to one's secret power heralds the beginning of a profound journey within, a venture into the depths of our existence where lies a dormant force bestowed upon us by the divine. Encounters with moments of deep peace and tranquility or witnessing the calm aura of others often kindle a desire for similar serenity in our own lives. Such experiences serve as gentle reminders of a vast, untapped potential lurking within, suggesting that our daily struggles and fears need not be the sum total of our existence. Amidst the noise and distractions of modern life, a quiet voice whispers of a different way of being, one that is aligned with a powerful, serene essence. Echoing through the corridors of our soul is a truth that resonates with Ernest Holmes's philosophical musings. He posited, within each person is a hidden power that, once discovered, can transform their entire existence. This notion invites us to consider our lives, not as a series of random events, but as a canvas for the manifestation of divine power. It's an invitation to step beyond the boundaries of conventional existence into a realm where every thought and action is infused with deeper meaning and purpose. For many, the realization that such a power exists within us, waiting to be harnessed, is both exhilarating and daunting. It challenges the status quo of our lives, beckoning us to venture into uncharted territories of our own consciousness. Holmes further elaborates on this transformative power with a compelling philosophical concept. Life is a mirror, reflecting back to us the contents of our thoughts and beliefs. Our inner world profoundly influences our external reality, hinting at the secret power's responsiveness to our deepest convictions and aspirations. Embarking on this journey requires courage to confront and transcend our limitations, fueled by the belief that we are capable of more than we have ever imagined. As we begin to explore the vast landscape of our inner self, we unearth not just the secret power given by God, but also the realization that we have always possessed the key to unlocking our full potential. This awakening is not just about discovering a hidden force, it's about realizing that we are, in essence, co-creators of our destiny, empowered to shape our lives with the divine energy that flows through us. At the core of unlocking one's secret power, faith and belief stand as towering beacons, guiding individuals through the fog of doubt and uncertainty. History is replete with figures who harnessed this power to transcend the ordinary, but perhaps none more influential than Jesus. His life exemplifies the pinnacle of faith in action, a testament to the boundless possibilities that unfold when belief transcends mere thought and becomes a living, breathing entity within us. Through his teachings and miracles, Jesus illustrated that faith is not a passive state, but an active force capable of moving mountains and calming storms, both literally and metaphorically. Anecdotes from his life, such as walking on water, or feeding the multitude with just a few loaves and fishes, serve not merely as tales of divine intervention, but as potent reminders of the power of belief. These stories encourage a deep reflection on our own lives and the untapped potential lying dormant within. They teach that faith, even as small as a mustard seed, can grow into an unshakable force capable of transforming the fabric of our reality. Ernest Holmes once noted, Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Using this profound statement, we capture the essence of believing as the foundation for our lives. What we believe in our hearts and minds shapes what we experience in the world. 
Such a perspective demands a radical trust in the unseen, a confidence that our innermost desires and aspirations are not only valid but attainable through the power of faith. Faith and belief are the compass with which we navigate life, guiding us from what can be seen and measurable to the infinite possibilities that are hidden. It's a journey that challenges us to live not by sight alone, but by the conviction that our thoughts, empowered by belief, can manifest a reality beyond our wildest dreams. In embracing this truth, we unlock the secret power given by God, stepping into a world where miracles are not exceptions but expectations, born from the profound synergy between human faith and divine will. Mastering one's thoughts emerges as a pivotal step towards unlocking the secret power entrusted to us by the divine. Consider for a moment the transformative nature of water, gentle enough to nourish life, yet powerful enough to carve canyons through solid rock over millennia. Similarly, thoughts hold the power to shape our reality, quietly sculpting our lives through persistent flow. What if, like the sculptor who sees the statue within the block of marble, we could see our highest potential within the current reality shaped by our thoughts? Questions often arise about the true impact of our thoughts on our lives. Can a positive mindset really influence the outcome of events? Is there a measurable effect of optimism on one's circumstances? Drawing comparisons to the law of gravity, an unseen yet undeniable force, the law of life operates on a principle that is just as real and powerful. Our thoughts set into motion a series of events, attracting circumstances that mirror our inner state. Just as a magnet draws to it, objects of like nature, our thoughts attract situations that align with their essence. Navigating this landscape of thought requires a conscious effort to cultivate a garden of positive, life-affirming beliefs. Imagine your mind as fertile soil and each thought a seed. What kind of garden are you tending? Are the seeds of doubt, fear and negativity finding too much purchase? Or are you diligently planting and nurturing seeds of hope, love, and abundance? The mastery of thought is not an overnight achievement, but a lifelong journey of choosing, moment by moment, which seeds to water and which to weed out. This deliberate act of selection empowers individuals to shape their destinies, guided by the unwavering belief in the secret power woven into the fabric of their beings. In the tapestry of life, each thread of thought and belief we weave carries the potential to transform our existence. Consider the allegory of the caterpillar's metamorphosis into a butterfly, a profound transformation that mirrors the journey of self-realization and the activation of our secret power. Just as the caterpillar contains within it the blueprint for its eventual flight, so too do we harbor the capacity for a remarkable evolution of our spirit and circumstances. Our inner landscape shifts when we replace thoughts of fear and limitation with those of faith and abundance, triggering this evolution. But how often do we, like the caterpillar, encase ourselves in cocoons of doubt, unaware of the wings we're meant to grow? In order to embark on this transformation, we must unwaveringly believe in the unseen and remain focused on our potential's beauty. It's about seeing ourselves not as victims of past mistakes, but as architects of our future, with every thought acting as a blueprint for what we wish to build. Can we predict the exact moment when the shift will occur, when the walls of our cocoon will fall away to reveal a life of freedom and joy? Perhaps not, but in nurturing our faith and directing our thoughts towards our highest good, we set in motion the forces of change, ensuring that transformation is not just a possibility, but an inevitability. Living in the power bestowed upon us requires a daily commitment to this new way of thinking and being. It's akin to the gardener who, in planting seeds, trusts in their eventual growth and bloom. The gardener knows that with the right conditions, sunlight, water and time, what was once buried in the darkness will rise into the light. Similarly, 
As we tend to the garden of our mind with positive thoughts and beliefs, we cultivate a life that reflects our divine potential. Through this process, we come to realize that the secret power given by God is not a distant, external force, but a living, breathing presence within us, eagerly waiting to guide us towards our highest expression. In conclusion, the journey towards recognizing and utilizing the secret power given by God is both personal and universal. We shift our perspective from seeing ourselves as separate and limited beings to acknowledging our divine essence and potential. Faith, a shift in thought, and a willingness to live in accordance with this profound gift are all that are required to embark on this journey. Our greatest ally in life's journey has been with us all along, just waiting for us to realize it. As we navigate this path, we uncover both the power within and the knowledge that it has been waiting for us all along.